Hello, this is Wayne Tanner from Electronic Thinking, and in this video I wanted to follow up with a previous uh, concept where we were talking about switches being used as the logic for the circuitry, and follow up. In that video I mentioned that we normally don't consider switches, for instance, like this um, when we're thinking in terms of logic gates. And the reason, let me, let me just try to explain this, is that if you take a look at a circuit like this, and I showed you one similar to this before, in this circuit, really what we're doing here is the current is flowing through the two switches in order to um, supply our output, our output being, you know, is the LED lit or is it not lit? And if we're working with uh, logic gates, what we normally want to consider is the logic gate itself being, um, and let me for a moment just draw it as a kind of a box with a certain number of inputs and it has an output. Now, we can call these inputs number one, input number two, and we've got the output over here. And you would, you would typically connect this to your um, positive five volts, let's say, and you would connect this to your ground. And this circuit would provide an output of either a high or low output depending on the input levels. So you don't normally consider this that when you're thinking about your logic as if if this was an AND gate for instance that the that the, the, the current has to flow through both inputs in order to make it to the output. That, that's normally not the way you you would normally think of these. So if we were to draw this as an actual AND gate then it, normally when you're drawing your, your gates you don't put the positive supply you just kind of draw it like this it's drawn as a um, a flat side here with a rounded front and it, the output comes straight out here and this would be a two input AND gate and in this case you've got four possible inputs. Uh, if, we, if we show them as zeros or ones, uh, we'll draw what's called a truth table. And let's put like this, input number one, input number two, and this being the output. Both the inputs can be zero, in which case the output would be zero. Um, one of the inputs could be high, in which case the output is still zero. The other input could be high, in which case the output is still zero, or both inputs can be high, in which case the output is finally one. And if we had a, you know, a resistor and LED out here, then that would determine when the LED would light up and when it would not light up. Now, the other thing to, to be aware of is that this being a two input AND gate, you can have multiple input AND gates. Let's say we could draw, and I'll draw this in a little bit bigger, just to kind of keep it in scale, you could have a four input AND gate. And in this case, all four of these inputs would have to be a logic level one in order for the output to be a logic level one. So all four have to be high in order for the output to be high. Um, you can also connect these circuits together. Let's say you didn't have a four input AND gate in your in your circuit box, you can chain together these circuits. Let's draw them back a little bit small again. Get my lines a little bit straighter there. You can hook these together like this so that you take a two input AND gate and another two input AND gates and you take their outputs and you connect them to the input of another AND gate. Now, when these two inputs are both high, 
that gives you a high output here. And when these two inputs are both high, you have a high output here. Two high outputs gives you a high output here. So if any of these were, let's say we were to take a, uh, a 1 and a 1, that gives us a 1 output here. But if we had a 1 and a 0, that's going to give us a 0 output here, and a 1 and a 0 is going to give us a 0. The only way to change this other 0 to a 1 would be to change this other input down here to a 1. That would change this one to a 1, and then it would change the output to a 1. So this is how you can chain your gates together to get more inputs. Uh, and that's um, a, a good introduction to the logic gates and how you can chain them together and a little bit about the, um, the truth tables.